You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing absolutely amazing today. You are joining me on a cold, well it feels pretty cold. I think it's gonna, I think it's give out highs of like 16 degrees today. I just feel like summer's gone. I've sort of made peace with it. I love summer so much, like I love it being warm. And I find it really sad that we're in July and it's like this. It's just rained so much, hasn't it? And I know I said about doing the garden, like I had big plans to do the redo the patio and paint out there and everything. But I'll be honest, like I just haven't wanted to spend that much time outside because the weather's just been so like not fun. I don't know whether it's gonna pick up a little bit in the summer holidays, because obviously the kids finish very soon. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit sad and cold and it's really pushing me to want all of the autumn decor everywhere just all around the house i want fairy lights i want to start thinking about christmas like be one or the other be hot or be autumnal <laughs> yeah so it's the weather is disappointing today i'm gonna to have to put a jumper on before i go out it is a tuesday the boys are at school well they're at school but they're also at their dad's so I don't have them tonight either, so I have the whole day to do as I please. And I thought I would spend that day going to Primark for one, which I'm very excited about, having a look what's in there. Hopefully you don't spend too much money. Um, and also I wanna have a look in at TK Maxx because I feel like everywhere's getting all of the autumn stuff in. I feel like TK Maxx is gonna have a few bits in there, well I'm hoping anyway, because they do beautiful things um, at autumn time. I've already been burning a lot of my autumn candles around the house that I got from Georgia Asda. Massive fan of all of the ones that I got, really nice scents. And yeah, I don't feel like it's too early to be burning them. So I'm gonna need more and more and more and more. And TK Maxx always does really, really good autumn candles. So I thought I'd have a look in there because I like looking in there anyway at the homeware. I never really look at anything else in there. Maybe I'll have a little look at the other stuff as well because I do like some of their bags. Not that I'm going to buy one but we'll have a little pot around there. I'll obviously take you with me so we can see what's in Primark and TK Maxx. Where else? Maybe Poundland. I'm not sure yet. That's always a little bit disappointing lately. I feel like Poundland's going to just disappear from the high street soon. There's like less and less I feel. It's getting a bit pricier and it's just not as good as it used to be. But yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna to go and do a little bit of shopping and then when I get back, hopefully I'll have a nice little goodie bag of Primark items to share with you. And yeah, if it's gonna keep raining and being rubbish like this, I'll have a nice cozy evening to myself, which, you know, I don't mind. I'll have to find something good to watch on TV. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself sorted to go out. Like I say, I'm gonna to have to put a jumper on or a coat of some sort. And yeah, I will show you what I spot in Primark first.
it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh i'm thinking about him i have got him on my mind but he doesn't know my name and i'm running out of time i wish you felt the same and i'm acting stupid like every day don't know what to do or what i should say
I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I. Kept on playing my part, wanted to give up 'cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. All the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Take all my wrongs and make 'em better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done.、Mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no,、mm -hmm. but I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh, 'cause something's broken and I'm the. And I am now back home. I hope you enjoyed having a little shop round Primark and TK Maxx. I didn't really go anywhere else.、I、didn't end up going in Poundland. I just thought it just because it was so wet as well. I just thought. No, I've had enough now with my with my paper Primark bags that I just thought these these are on like borrowed time、um, in the rain. <laughs> yeah, I still managed to get a nice amount of stuff. I apologise if it's a little bit dark as well. By the way, the weather is like it's like two in the afternoon and it's black outside. It's like I'm gonna put my pajamas on after this. Actually, I think I'm going to get because I feel like I'm getting a cold as well. The kids, well, not Dylan so much. Toby was really bad this week with a, with a cold, and I thought I'd like escaped it with just a little bit of a sore throat. But as the day's gone on, I can feel that I'm getting ill.、Uh, 
um, so it feels even more autumn slash wintry. I mean, now it just seem to have a cold permanently but what I'm going to do after I've shown you all of my Primark items is make myself a nice hot drink and um, light some candles and put my pyjamas on I think. I don't even care that it's only like three in the afternoon. I plan to go nowhere and do not a lot. Um, but anyway, I will show you what I did get from Primark. I managed to just sort of like be quite sensible, I feel. So I got this t-shirt that I saw last time that I was in there and I thought I'd quite like that. I love an oversized t-shirt. I feel like I don't have any anymore. Um, and I really like Guns N' Roses. So I got this. I got it in a large as well. It was £12 and it is just an oversized band t-shirt as you will have seen me show all of the variations that they have, like Nirvana, um, I think there was a Pink Floyd one, Led Zeppelin, can't remember what else. But I love Guns N' Roses and yeah, I just wanted an oversized dark coloured t-shirt. So, oh it's good, I just realised I'm holding on to a pack of thongs whilst I'm showing you this as well. I also got some of them. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I got it in a nice big size because I just want to wear it with like leggings and things like that. Perfect for the school run, great with like, when it does get a little bit cooler, but like up boots and just nice and comfy, that's all I want. But yeah, I got that in a large, I want it to be oversized. Primark, I don't always trust for like a little bit of shrinking as well. But yeah, I love that they've got all of these um, band tops in there. So I got that and then I also got like, there's nothing like, it's mainly comfort that I've been going for. When, I, when I've been picking stuff up today. I also really wanted another sweatshirt, like a big comfy sweatshirt. Again, just to wear with leggings, I can wear it over that t-shirt. So I got this one. I, I was really struggling to find any that I liked. Some of the ones in Primark are just not my cup of tea. I don't like all the ones with the like weird quotes on as well. Like, it's never too late and just do your best. Like, I just didn't want anything like that on the front of it. So I've got this one, which is just says Yale um, and again I got it in I think I got it in a large I only saw a couple of these so it's going to be nice and oversized and I just feel like I don't have as many nice big oversized sweatshirts anymore and I just really like putting these on in the evening and walking the dog in something like that like I say with some leggings or joggers then I'm just dead comfy um, and that was £16 for that one. I also got this, now I don't know whether I like it or not. I don't think I particularly love it, but I wanted, because it's rained so much, a really light jacket that I can wear if I'm like walking the dog or I'm doing the school run and I don't wanna have an umbrella in my hand all the time. I just wanted something with a hood. Now this is probably just shower resistant and not actually waterproof. So if it buckets it down, I don't know. I don't think I'd stay dry. Does it say shower res yeah, just shower resistant? It was £12 and it is just a, a light sort of raincoat in green. I don't think it was too bad. I don't think it's like gorgeous or anything. I always find it difficult to find like a nice coat with a hood. Like they're always a little bit, I don't know. It's just not, it doesn't always go with the, the planned outfit. But, <laughs> but I thought it'd be quite good for school runs and things. And when it's just um, starts lightly raining, if I can chuck it in a bag as well, because it's only little and lightweight, it's good to keep on me. So I got that, which I think is quite a decent price for 12 quid. Don't think that's too bad. There was like trousers and things that I really wanted as well, but they didn't have them in my size, which was just a bit frustrating. I really wanted some like white chinos, but they, they didn't have them. They had like every other colour in my size but not that colour so that's disappointing but never mind I probably would have bought white trousers and then just got something down them within the first time wearing them and then they'd be ruined so it's probably for the best because I have a lot of trousers as well so it's probably the universe saying don't buy any more trousers and a lot of the clothes I was looking at thinking like having to talk myself whether it was really something that I wanted because sometimes I'm really bad in Primark for just putting stuff in my basket and then not really thinking about it and it used to feel all right doing that because it felt like it was really cheap and obviously it is still cheap but it's not as cheap as it used to be so yeah I do have a little bit more of a 
a, a talk with myself before I make the decision to purchase things. I got this top as well. I just thought it was cute. It's a little vest. It's sheer. They had them in black as well. Obviously, you need to wear a vest top or a light bra, I would assume, underneath it. I like these kinds of things. It'd be nice just tucked in to some chino trousers or like linen trousers or something. So we're small in Primark is 10 to 12. I'm like an 8 to 10, I would say, but I wanted it in this size because... I always do with Primark really, I just like sizing up in stuff because I shrink things and I don't know whether that's just what I'm washing them on or whether it's Primark. Yeah, it's a cute little vest, it was only six quid, I mean that was too bad. And then yeah, as you saw before, I bought some of their packs of, three packs of thongs, I thought these were quite autumnal colours, these ones. I always find it a bit of a mission though, just grambling around on the, on the, like the pants tables to try and find your size. It's always a bit of a pain, um, but I got these in a size small and then I also got another pack which is just these black and then a pair of white ones, pack of three, four pound, it's such a bargain. I always grab things like this when I'm in there because they're just, just a great price and you can never have too many pairs of underwear if you ask me. What else did I get? Oh, some bits from the homeware department, oh, I love these mugs. I just think these look really expensive. They were three pound each. I just love the pattern on them. They're quite pumpkin-y. Um, that's what they reminded me of. Really nice little autumn mug for your hot coffee. Good size mug as well. Um, and then I also got this candle. Because as you saw, they did have a little bit of the pumpkin and autumn items in. And I really liked that little candle. I think I like the smell. What is the scent? Autumn leaves. I'm not sure I would class that as an autumn leaf scent but I will see what it's like when I burn it. It's got double wick. Again I love anything where I can keep the pot afterwards. It goes quite similar with my, I'll show you, this gorgeous one that I got from Georgia Astor. Now I've got a little baby one to go with it as well. Do you need to sort of assess how many pumpkin things I have tucked away? before I keep buying more and more because otherwise it's just going to look ridiculous this house is it's just going to be overrun with pumpkins <laughs> but yeah that was four pound for that one I can't remember how much the one from Asda was maybe five pound I think yes who doesn't love a little pumpkin candle and I got these which I spotted last time I was in there and then wished I'd got them and I just think they're such a nice difference to like the white candles that I have, I just think they look so much more expensive, a bit fancier. I love the colours of them. So I think I'm going to swap up these ones, which have got um, the stag pins in, which were a bargain actually. I got a pack of three of these, which I've seen in another shop for like £15. And then I saw some in a charity shop for about two or three quid, I think I paid. Yeah, I've just kept them out all year, even though they're more of a winter thing because it's a stag. But I think I'm going to put them in there and then put them on these candlesticks which I just think will be it's just nicer than the white one I think the white one look, looks a little bit cheaper I don't know I just think they're a nice coloured candle um, and then with my pin in I think I'll do that anyway these candlesticks I can't tell you where they're from they were from a shop that's not no longer a shop but they are very beautiful i love them yeah unfortunately i don't know where they're from they've got nothing on them to tell me either so yeah i got two of those candles which were three pound each got an extra long wick as well and then i got oh i got a necklace as well because they always like having a little look at their costume jewelry that was three pound fifty i do feel like they have less jewelry than they used to have i don't know whether they've scaled back a bit but I never see as much as I used to. I used to like see loads and loads of stuff that I loved, but I always end up getting a necklace or something when I'm in there. And then I got some of these because I cannot for the life of me find mine. I've got like, I found like one. It, I just needed a set because I can't just get by with just one. And I think these are a little bit bigger as well, which I prefer these. Velcro hair rollers, which were £2.50 and you get eight of those. So they're just for adding a little bit of volume. Oh, and then I went in to TK Maxx, as you saw, and I picked up one of the hearts because I just, I think that's gonna go nice on the stairs. I've got like loads of this like down the stairs, little hanging decorations, and I just liked this one in particular. And it was only 4 .99. Don't know why, I just love a little heart decoration still. I feel like it was really trendy 
for a while, wasn't it? Everybody had hearts everywhere and everyone had a big wicker heart. I made one actually, because it was a big thing going around of the big giant wicker hearts and I'm just not over it still. I still love to have hearts all around the house. And I also got this pumpkin mug because some of the stuff in TK Maxx, as you all saw, is gorgeous. I really liked the big white glass pumpkins, but I just thought if I take that out of this store with me, I'm gonna break it like, and then I'll be gutted. But I did come out with this mug. How nice is this? It's like just really pretty. It's not garish at all. Like it's just a really stunning little mug. I think I'm gonna go and wash this out actually and have a nice hot drink in this now. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. It's like pearly and it's obviously pumpkin design and I love it. And it was 3 99 which is a bargain. Um, I think. Yeah, Hello Home is the make that it's uh, it's from. And I just think that is a great mug for a cup of coffee. So I'm very happy that I came away with that. Yeah, they're my little purchases for the day. Like I say, I'm going to light some candles, get a hot drink and get some pyjamas on because I'm just feeling a little bit well. Oh, and I'm not that hungry yet either because whilst I was out, I did go into M&S, get myself a little meal deal. I do really enjoy, because I was on my own and I do really enjoy little solo shopping trips sometimes. I just think it's quite nice to go and have a little mooch around the shops on your own and get yourself something to eat. I didn't sit in anywhere, but yeah, I went and got, went into Evanes, got myself a wrap and I really love, and I did this last time that I went to Primark and had a little shop around those um, shoe nuts that they do. Is it a shoe nut or is it a yum nut? Maybe, no, it's yum nut. That shoe nut is something else. I think that is another thing. No, it's a yum nut because it's like a yum yum and a donut in one. So just a real little treat for after <laughs> after my shopping. Um, yeah, the chocolate orange one's so nice. Um, so yeah, I love a little bit of an M&S meal deal <laughs> whilst I'm out and about. So I'm not that hungry at the moment either. Um, I just feel like I need a cup of tea or something, which I always do when I'm feeling a bit run down. So I'll put these things away and get cosy with a hot drink, I think is next on the list. I saw her up on the hill On her way to the mill Proud and all loud to get hungry now but i'm still not feeling very well it's always hard to know what to cook as well when it's just me when the kids aren't here i mean it's hard to know what to cook when they're here but i think i'm gonna make some eggs though pretty standard for me to have poached eggs but that's just what i feel like i'm really going through a bit of an egg craving lately so i think i'm gonna have just some toast with salmon and eggs i wish i had some hollandaise sauce but Never mind. We can make do without it. It's still gonna be good. How good are eggs though? Just the most versatile, amazing food there is. I actually even thought about like whether I'd like some chickens. So I could have my own eggs all the time. How good would that be? Just going out in the garden in the morning and getting the eggs out. Quite like the thought of that. But yeah, I'm gonna make that. And then I'm gonna see, actually see what's on TV, which I never do, but I might watch something like, I feel like my comfort is things like, I obviously love a serial killer documentary. I feel like I've exhausted every single serial killer documentary that there is at the minute. But I do also really like just watching things like Grand Designs or George Clark's Amazing Spaces. Like I just find that really just nice and relaxing. So I'm going to see maybe if there's something like that on. I get a big blanket and sit. Because I'm getting a little bit... This is how Toby was as well. He kept telling me that he was cold even when he wasn't. And I'm feeling a little bit like... I might have to put my bigger dressing gown on because I feel really chilly. But anyway, I'm gonna make some food. Maybe that'll make me feel a bit better. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. 
Or a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference Oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing Hi guys <laughs> I'm back It's really late now Probably about 11 o'clock. Hey Rudy. Rudy's just walked in the room. So I actually, I ate my food, watched a little bit of telly and then just thought I need to lie down and I ended up waking up like two hours later not knowing where I was. <laughs> you know when you have that horrible thing of waking up from like a nap and just feeling absolutely out of it. Like just really groggy. I do feel a tiny bit better, but I do feel like I could still have a good sleep tonight. Like I don't feel refreshed, but I obviously needed it. So I'm really hoping that I wake up tomorrow and I feel better. I've eaten a lot of biscuits as well, a lot of bourbons. So, you know, that, that always helps. <laughs> biscuits always help. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And I'm gonna go and get all this makeup off my face and get a nice hot shower and then get in bed um, and hope that I just feel a little bit more healthy tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I would so love it if you came back again for my next one. Bye everyone!